Kailan nga ba natin ginagamit ang do, are, or have? Ginagamit natin ang do kapag base form ang ating verb. At ang aray kapag ing ang ating verb. At ang have kapag past participle. Tandaan natin, kapag do ay base form, base form ng verb. And are kapag ing ang verb. Then have kapag past participle. Past participle. May example tayo dito. What blank you eating? Ulitin natin, ang do ay base form. Ang R is ing and have is past participle. So, ang sagot natin ay R. What are you eating? Okay. Number two. Blank, you seen a snake before? Again, do kapag base form. Ang verb are kapag ing and have kapag past participle. Okay, what is our answer? Have. Have you seen? Kasi ito yung ating verb. Ito yung keyword natin. Have you seen a snake before? Okay. For number three. Blank, you play here. Okay, ang keyword po natin ay play. Ito yung verb. So, ulitin ko. Ang do ay base form. Ang R is ing. And have is past participle. So, ang sagot natin is yung base form na play. Ito yung base form. This is do you play here? So, ang sagot natin ay do. Nasa base form yung ating verb na play. Okay, number four. What would you blank done differently? In this case, kayo naman ang sumagot. Subukan mo sumagot and give your comment below. And uh, tandaan lang natin na ang do ay ginagamit natin kapag ang verb natin ay nasa base form. Ang are ay gagamitin natin kapag ang verb ay may ing and have kapag past participle. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned more. Follow me for more videos.